Okay, my friends, a little bit morbid there in the beginning, but it is something you have to think about, right? If you even get in a car, there's a chance you're going to get into an accident in your car. There's a chance you're going to break your leg on a ski slope. There's chances of just about everything. And figuring out those chances is challenging, right? It's not like flipping a coin or rolling a die because you can't see the outcomes. For example, uh, getting a flat tire on the way to on the way to work. I either do or I don't. So there's two outcomes. But as we've talked about before, they're not equally weighted. So how do you figure out the likelihood of an outcome like that that you don't know? Well, there's a reason this class is called statistics and not parameters. See, what you want to know is the parameter. You want to know the occurrence of something in the general population, but you're not allowed to see that parameter because generally speaking, the population is too big. So what you do is you do your studies and you glean a statistic from your study. Now, if you think about the parameter versus your statistic, they're not equal to each other. But the central limit theorem tells us that on average, they're close. Now, what does close mean? See, the problem with the word close is that it's subjective. It close means different things to different people. What we need to do is we need to create a measure of closeness statistically that we can all agree on. And the best part is we already have it. And you've probably even heard of it. It's called a margin of error. So when we say a statistic is about equal to a parameter, what we really mean is the parameter is likely within a margin of error of the statistic. Said a little bit more mathematically and a little less wordily, if we take our sample statistic and we add and subtract the margin of error to and from that sample statistic, we form a range of values between which we are confident our parameter lies. This is probably best visualized with a few examples. Let's go take a look.